right, we have eight pins marking where the eight foundation ground screws are going to go. Getting a little wet because it's May 1st and we've got quite a lot of rain on the forecast. Not great for construction, but really good for growing grass and preventing wildfires, so we'll take it. Tina and I are trying out for Farmer Fashion Show today. <laughs> Here's Jarvis head to toe. Got blue, red, red, burgundy, rip sleeves. We're, we're living the dream. Functional. Here's the eight ground screws. Adapter for the skid steer. And then other hardware inside the box. Hello everybody, I'm standing on the pad of the location where we'll build the greenhouse. Just giving you a little update and just for reference you can see the yurt back there. So behind me where you're facing is south and kind of that line of trees is up on a ridge. And the whole reason for getting the greenhouse in the garden here where we are is Deep into winter, the sun is, is not very high above these trees. And by coming up here, we'll get more, more sunshine on this greenhouse and on this garden than, you know, way down there close to the yurt, which sits in shade deep in the winter the whole day. So what do we got? We've got eight of these ground screws. They're... 50 inches long, heavy duty, galvanized steel. And then they've got three um, threaded um, bolt holes in them where I'll be putting in brackets that will receive the four by four posts and then, and then using bolts to drive against them and hold it, hold it nice and firm in place. So, Milling lumber and, and building the frame is next, but it's gonna take a little bit. Today is May 2nd, and tonight into tomorrow, over the next two days, we have close to two inches of rain on the forecast, which is really great for preventing the uh, summer wildfire season and just, you know, the lack of grass growth and all that that comes with the summer drought. But it's, it's not great for working in this clay. So it would just be a muddy mess, so I'm not going to be on here building anything until things start to dry out. Um, it's a bit muddy. You know, I've, I've got the pad built up, and then I'll go ahead and build the greenhouse like this. And then this summer, another thing I'm going to need to do is plan some drainage and an approach around the, uh, the perimeter of the greenhouse. And again, trying to do that when it's wet and muddy is not... A good move. So I'm excited about how it's coming together. I'll step down and show you the um, the rock wall. I love rock walls. It's really nice to be working with stone. It's coming together really well. Really kind of holds up. This bottom corner is the low point and needed to be built up the most. 
and then the rocks and the rock wall kind of peters out as we walk uphill. So yeah, that's the that's the state of this project. If all goes well, it'll be, you know, a frame will get built in the next month or two, but that's weather dependent and assuming I can get the sawmill up and running and make all the lumber I need for it. I also need to make um, find a source for the the steel brackets that'll hold all the truss joints together. You know, picture those nice black steel brackets with bolts um, kind of holding the truss together. That's what I'm gonna do. And other than that, things are good. And we will check in with you next time. See ya.